no divorce? Do you know how different it would be in a marriage? First of all, sisters, you're going to ask that brother some questions. You ain't going to just pop up and give me a ring. No, I need to know. What, what was the situation in your past? Why you ain't been paying your bills? Why are you out of work? Man, boy, you, you're 35 years old. Why you ain't got a car yet? See? Some things going to be asked. The brother's going to be like, how about my sister? Wait, 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 wait. I got some questions for you before I give you this ring. Why you got three kids from two different men? Why you, you know, why are you still living over here? You know, why? Because of the fact that it is a dis discipline, it's discipleship. You've got to become accountable for your choices. That's what God is saying. What do you think made the Muslims so attractive in Malcolm X's day? Because Muslims were disciplined. They were wearing the same suit, they were wearing the bow ties, they were doing their thing, looking good, looking positive, looking successful. Discipleship is attractive. Discipleship is productive. Discipleship will take you to another level in your life. Don't you know that, let's say, you're saying, oh, you know, I need all my money to pay my bills. Uh, I'll guarantee you, if you want to you change your life, give, give it a year. Start, go open up a bank account, put one dollar in the account. Every week, put one dollar in the account. Trust me, in three months, you'll probably be putting five or more. Six months, you'll be putting 10, 15, 20. By the end of the year, you'll have a thousand or more. You keep doing it over five years, you'll probably have 10,000 or more in the bank. Why? Because you're building a discipline. You're building something that works, that changes your life. And no, you don't start with a big, it's like walking in the gym trying to lift uh, 500 pounds. You're not trained to do that yet. You're not discipled enough to put away $150 a week, $200 a week. You got to take your time. Because discipleship is a process. This is why a lot of times we go to the church, we want quick instantaneous successes. Because you see, we, build, we live in a, micro, uh, uh, a microwave uh, 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 society. Everything we want it now. Give me my money now. Give me my car now. I don't want to pay cash, I want it on credit. So I can drive off with it today. And they feed right into that. So they tell you, yeah, we're only gonna charge you 15% or 18% of credit. Uh, interest. So now for, for the car that only costs 27000 you end up paying forty five. But you don't care because you got your thing now. No, discipleship. Don't you know, you know what a millionaire once told me? He said this, if you can't pay cash for it, you can't afford it. See, they feed into that even with college students. Why do you think they're on, on the campuses saying, oh, why don't you apply for this card? Oh, yeah, you know, you're a college student, so you get this card for 3% interest, you know, now. You know, you get it going on like that. Yeah, but they ain't telling you in six months that rate is going to go up to 24%. Because undiscipled, when you see somebody walking around homeless and they're not mentally ill, it's, they're there because in one area or another, they were un. Discipline. You see a woman with five, six, seven kids from four or five different men? She's undisciplined. She ain't a hoe. She's undisciplined. She don't know how to control her urges. See, that's the deal. That's what God, that's what Jesus is trying to give us. Teach us how to be disciplined that we might prosper even as our soul prospers. You want to change your life? Change your level of discipleship or discipline. I don't care if you don't feel comfortable wearing a tie. Wear it anyway. Because it'll change how you see yourself. Yes, go, go get a suit and a white shirt. Not blue, not black, not lime green. Get a white shirt. Tie a tie. Correctly. I don't care if you just walk around all day like that. You, you, you want me to tell you how to get a job? I'll tell you how to get a job real quick. Check this out. Go get a suit, go get a white shirt, get a tie, and walk in every store. Eventually, you're going to find somebody willing to hire you. Because you're going to look. Like, you know what you're doing. See, we have got to get to the place of understanding. And that's what Jesus is talking about. He was saying, I want you to prosper even as your soul prospers. I want you to be the millionaire. I want you to be successful. I want you to be the real estate owner. I want you to be, be the business owner. But if you're not disciplined, I can't give you that. Because even though money is 
good to a disciplined person, it's terrible to an undisciplined one. Why do you think most lottery winners end up in five years more worse off than they were before they won? Because they're undisciplined in the rules, regulations, and laws of money. The first thing you do with your money should not be pay bills. Oh, I know y'all don't want to hear that. You should not be paying bills when you first get paid. The first thing you should do with your money is pay, first of all, now if you're saved, now you believe this, because I believe this. I believe you got to pay God first. Now, y'all can do what y'all want to do, but I believe you got to pay God first. But second of all, and God's pay is not much, it's only 10%, meaning one dollar out of every 10, one penny out of every dime. But, pay God first, and then you need to pay yourself. How do you pay yourself? Not by going out buying you no shoes, not by going out buying you no new suit. You pay yourself by putting some money in savings. Save that money, it is yours. That is, that is called your net worth. You're liquid right now. See? And then you pay your bills. And if your bills are more than what's left over, you need to cut back on what you are spending. How are you struggling paying your rent and your cable's still on? See, that's, that's bad. That's, that's bad priorities. You still going to McDonald's and you struggling to pay your rent? I think any any other meals, right? Meal number four, five, six, all of them is over five dollars, right? And you struggling, oh, I need money to feed my kids. You need to stay out of Mickey D's. You need to stay away from Wendy's. See, we, in, in order for us to do what we've got to do, we've got to understand discipleship and discipline. If you're not disciplined and taking care of your physical body, I'm telling you right now, when it breaks down, don't run to the church and talk about God heal me. God never heals a lack of discipline. He teaches you how to be disciplined. Because, let me tell you something, discipline will heal you when uh, uh, your, your, your life won't. I, don't, I, I, I do not have to go to my pastor or one of the preachers and say, pray for me because physically I'm sick. I don't have high blood pressure. You know why? Because I know there's certain things I shouldn't be eating. I know that I'm into the brand stuff. I know that I run three or four days a week, a couple of miles. I take care of myself. So here I am standing before you at the age of, of soon to be 50 and can still do, you know, run around with my thing. Ain't got no aches and pains and got all that other crazy stuff. See? Stay out of the Chinese food place. God is good. Or I know y'all will hear that. Stop being lazy, because that's what it is. Stop being lazy and eating that MSG and whatever, whatever, and go and make your own food. You know how much money you would save if you didn't go to the fast food place? What'd you say, my brother? Say it again. What if you want some Chinese food? Well, let me tell you something. My whole sermon today is about discipline. Discipline means you're not going to be subject unto what you want to do, but you're going to be subject unto what you need to do. I know, I know I'm whipping you right now. I know, I, I, know, I, know, I know the switch is out, but it's all right, though. Because if you keep following what you want to do, see, I want to go sleep.